Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sly Jesse here and today I'm playing Diablo 3. I'm playing my level 60 Never wizard on Axe 2 of Inferno. And I'm just pretty much trying to finish the game. Now I really want to talk about if it was good to get someone this game as a gift for Christmas. Or just for a present. So a bit of backstory, I purchased the game for around $90. And that's when it first came out. It's been quite a bit since then. Now, in between now and then, I kind of really didn't play it much after three weeks because I didn't really like the game too much. I I played Diablo 2. Oh, I played Diablo 2 a lot. I'll go away. Yeah, I played Diablo 2 a lot, and I loved Diablo 2, and I felt like this was just a repeat of the game. So I wasn't really too happy about it. And after watching some of my YouTube friends play some of the game, I really got back into it, really enjoyed it, and realised that they've been adding a lot since the patches that they've been bringing out. So lately I've been playing the game a lot, and I've been loving it, absolutely loving it. So quite a bit's been added. After reaching level 60, you get to do a hundred paragon levels at the moment I'm only level one as you can see down the bottom there yeah it's quite a bit to get to the next paragon level but if you got some like top tier gear I heard some people getting around 7,000 uh, 70 million experience an hour which is ridiculous in my opinion that's, that's heaps Yeah, I hate these like flying little bee things. They keep doing me lots of damage. And then they keep moving so I can't really hit them with my spell. Except for my slow blizzard one. Yeah, so each paragon level you get bonus magic and gold finds. So at level 1 I've got plus 3% on both. And... I'm finding lots of decent loot just with that. So it's pretty good. I'm happy about it. Player vs player will probably be added to the game this month. That's what I'm guessing at the moment anyway. Because they might want some extra sales for Christmas. Since Christmas is actually less than three weeks away. I was shocked to have that. Uh, that doesn't feel like it's just like three weeks away. But... Ooh, there's a big monster. I just got up my... Christmas tree. Oh, they can kill me. Oh no, this. Ah, oh, that sucks. But whatever, we'll go kill them, I suppose. Uh, which way did we go? We went this way. Need more time. Yeah, only three weeks away to Christmas. That's really close. That close but... Oh wait, there's another right here. Ah. Oh. I didn't even notice, I saw their sparks come down thinking, what are they? I just killed the last things. Oh. So I died twice so far, this is a great game gameplay. Playing Inferno and dying twice. Uh, there's a total of five different characters you can play, so you've got lots of different play styles that you can play. So if you like playing one way, you should be able to play that way fine. See, these are the things I don't like, the bees. I just have to focus on killing these things, I don't want to die again. I'm no, uh, I just didn't get my shield off in time. So there is a problem with lag, there's a bit of lag, which is unfortunate because I live in Australia. Surprise, surprise, accent. So. If you're living in Australia, you're going to get a little bit of lag. Usually, it's not that bad. Um, I do have a problem. I'm not sure if everyone here gets it, which they probably don't, but usually when I'm fighting bosses, it's like my internet disconnects, but it hasn't. I know it hasn't because I've got my TeamSpeak and YouTube and everything up. But the game thinks I've disconnected, and I just... It takes like four or five minutes to catch up and then I instantly die because so much has happened since then. So I've got some rare items here, nothing that interests me. So 
There's an auction house in the game where you can spend real money or gold you find in the game. Yeah, everything in there is relatively cheap now. Which is really good. Most of my gear I just bought from the gold auction house. Which is really decent because it made me fly through hell. So I went through hell so fast with some uh, good axe I picked up. You know, I've changed it since then. So, can't really show you what, but it was really good. Well, I believe you can have up to four friends in your game at a time. I don't really have any friends, so... In saying that, I don't really have anyone to play with. I've only played with one other, one other person. Or, I've actually played with two other people at one stage, but that was really early on. Uh, put some more of these body things. Oh no, you're working there. Yep, there I am, dead again. This is turning out fantastic. I I'm not even getting my points across because I'm too focused on dying. So if you like playing with friends, it's good. You can have up to four. And you also get a companion to help you. Which is good. You get it like after a few missions. It's great because uh, it's just like Diablo 2. I've loved Diablo 2. I've played that so much. Now we've still got the waypoints. You can identify items still like in Diablo 2, but you don't need an identification scroll, which has made the game more basic, I guess. It's not something I really liked about the game. But, you know. Oh, well, it's not like that. oh look, we got some more elites. Yeah, we killed them. Didn't even die this time. Have a quest you want to keep doing, you can actually keep doing it over and over again. Though you won't get the same amount of experience and gold that you did the first time, but you can keep on doing it. Um, you can choose how strong you want the monsters, you can have them from level 0 to 10. At the moment I've got them on 0 because I'm dying enough as it is, I just want to get through the game. Um, if you have them higher, someone told me you get more items, but I'm not too sure about that, I haven't actually looked that up. So I really love this game at the moment. And it seems like with every patch, they're just making the game better and better. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the expansion if they bring one out, like Diablo 2. I love the Diablo 2 expansion. So overall, I say if you think whoever you're going to buy it for this is going to no enjoy it, the then you should buy it for them. I think they'll really like it. Um, it's great. That's all for today. If you like this video, even though I died a lot, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time. Looking for an action-packed, fully open-world role-playing first-person shooter with pirates? Look no further. You boys think you're crazy, huh? Hmm? Jumping out of airplanes. Flying like birds. <laughs> Sly Jesse here with SpawnNews.com and today we're looking at Far Cry 3.